Welcome to Bespoke Diaries, today's article is on, A Jack of All Trades is a Master of None by Nida Khan, Doctor, Founder, Serene by Nida, India. A Jack of All Trades is a Master of None. This quote defined almost everything she did for the longest time. She has heard it so many times growing up, that it almost became a part of her subconscious. Anytime she felt like doing something new or different, she was reminded that if you switch or split your attention, you were heading towards doom. Growing up, she was always a good student. She did well at academics and had a plan for what she wanted to do in the future. For almost 10 years, she knew she wanted to do something related to space. The first option, like so many others, was to become an astronaut. She bought every book related to space that she came across, read newspaper articles, cut those articles out and made a huge folder with all the cutouts. It was her most prized possession. Every day after school, she would spend a good two hours, re-reading the articles and looking for new ones. She even made a telescope of her own with lenses from her spectacles that she didn't wear any longer. Everybody knew what Nida would pursue when she grew up. A couple years in, she realized that maybe being an astronaut was a little far-fetched. She has a terrible phobia of heights and motion sickness. But she knew she wanted to learn about the universe. That's when Nida decided she was going to be a scientist. And thus, continued the dream. When she passed her 10th board with a good percentage, she knew she was going to pursue science. She told her mother, her subjects would be physics, chemistry and maths the infamous PCM. Biology was never even an option because she was so certain of what she wanted to do. For 10 years she had prepared for just this decision and no one was going to change her mind. Well, she was wrong. She attended a biology lecture at an academy and instantly realized how much she loved the subject. But it felt like she was betraying the 10 years of effort that she had put into her dream. 10 years of running to the terrace every time they said you would be able to see a planet. 10 years of looking forward to the day she'd actually see a planet through a telescope. Nida thought she would keep her options open and opted for biology as well. With every biology class she attended, her interest grew. She didn't forget about her dream. It lingered in the background. She kept telling herself she wasn't going to make a decision till she absolutely had to. But she was lying to herself. A little part of her knew that the dream was over. It had its time and its time had ended. This shift made her question the jack of all trades quote. She wondered if she was being a jack. She didn't want to be a jack. She wanted to be a master. But no matter how much she tried, she couldn't shake it off. She needed to accept that she has an undying love for the universe and its vastness, but she also has a love for everything about the human body. She wanted to learn about both but she had to choose which one she would like to pursue professionally. She settled on medicine and got to it. There were entrance exams to prepare for and it wasn't easy. She spent hours together studying and the only break she took was to sketch. Nida was surprised at how much she enjoyed sketching. Especially because she couldn't draw as a kid. And no, she is not talking about portraits. She can't draw people for the life of her. She liked sketching outfits and jewelry. She started looking forward to her breaks. Not in the way that she didn't concentrate while studying, but in a way to rejuvenate herself. Sketching made her feel like she had tapped into a whole other her. Everyone says that tapping into your creative well can teach you so much about yourself. Nida had just started to see the truth in that. To be honest, she even considered taking it up professionally, but didn't. A couple years into her undergrad, she fell terribly ill. She got infected by chicken pox and was made to self-quarantine for 21 days. She always suffered from anxiety but those 21 days were the worst. She spent hours together crying because her thoughts would take over her. The only time she felt better was when she scrolled through Instagram and watched fluid art videos endlessly. One day she decided to give it a go. Her mother has always been pro-art. She has tried every craft out there and was more than happy to bring Nida a couple of art supplies to help her with quarantine and the crippling anxiety. She made her first piece that day and there was no looking back. 
When she finished her quarantine, she went ahead and bought more art supplies. She'd spend her days studying and at night, she would paint her heart out. Not paint in the traditional sense that requires so much talent and dedication, but a form of art that was relatively easy and more importantly helped her manage her anxiety and her tendency to overthink. She quickly moved from fluid art to resin art. What started as me time slowly turned into making art for friends to gift to people. At this point of time, it was just a hobby. She never thought of turning it into anything else because that meant shifting. It meant switching. It meant dividing her attention and not having tunnel vision about her profession. It meant being a jack. She was no master but she definitely didn't want to be a jack. But you know what they say, some things are meant to happen for you and some opportunities are yours to grab. A couple days later she decided she would try her hand at having a small business. A very small small business. She set her priorities. Decided what would get how much time and told herself she could give it a try. It's been a crazy ride ever since she started. Even today, she works in the day and work on the small business at night. It's far from perfect. She is far from perfect. But she doesn't want perfect. She wants this. This imperfect mess that's her to keep and have. She has days when one needs more attention than the other and she has days when she feels like it's all too much. She is still far from managing both efficiently but she wouldn't change it for anything in the world. Her parents are always concerned about what she is doing but they've come to accept how things are. They know what makes Nida happy and wouldn't want her to do things any other way. Every once in a while, she wonders if she is a jack. And she has come to realize, she is. And she is okay with it. She is okay with it because being a jack means she gets to do all the things she loves to do. She wakes up every day wanting to learn something new and she doesn't limit herself. Every time she is presented with an opportunity to do something new, she jumps at it. She still has tunnel vision. There are different tunnels and they all get her attention at different times. And you know what? Recently, she came across an Instagram audio that made her realize how dangerous half-baked knowledge is. You see that quote she mentioned in the beginning of this article? Did you notice it ends with a comma? Well, she just realized that all these years, she was letting an incomplete quote determine how she led her life. So, she is just going to leave you with the entire quote and hope it inspires you to do more. A jack of all trades is a master of none, but oftentimes better than a master of one. Thank you for your time. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Do leave your thoughts in the comments section below. For similar type of article please reach us at contact at thebespokediaries.com or you can visit our website www.thebespokediaries.com.